This video is a companion to the basic bread making video on a wellseasonedcook.com. It has some value on its own, but it's intended to be seen in that context. Helpful tools for bread making 1. A digital thermometer, 2. A bench scraper or dough knife, 3. Wax paper squares, 4. A digital scale. This style is one option for a digital thermometer. If you only have one, this would be a good choice. It will also allow you to monitor the temp of a roast or a turkey while still in the oven. It also has a timer built in. This is another style of thermometer. It is instant read and the probe folds into the handle for storage. You would use it for something that's out of the oven or for water for yeast in your measuring cup. This is a dough knife or a bench scraper depending on what you're doing. It allows you to cut pieces of dough without cutting up the counter or breadboard. No photo of a wax paper square. It just looks like a void in the background. They are useful for several things including keeping the bread dough from sticking to the scale, weighing other foods like pasta or burger patties, and making homemade corn tortillas. Do you really need a digital scale? You can get by without it, but it will make your work easier and more consistent. You probably already have measuring cups for volume. They're fine for sugar or cornmeal since they don't compress as much as flour does. They are not accurate for flour. If you need to use them, spoon it into the cup and sweep off the top with something straight from like the back of a knife or a bench scraper, for instance. The scale is much more accurate and will let every batch be the same. The scale is even more important for such things as pancakes or muffins that are so much more fussy than bread. Once you get accustomed to using it, it is actually easier to use. Sources vary on the web from 120 grams per cup of AP flour to 130. I figure 125. If I want two cups of flour, I just scoop flour into my bowl until it reads 250 grams. More detail on that in a moment. A good digital scale is great to have. In the spring of 2019, you can get a good one starting at about $10. A good median would be a about $25. I use mine constantly. It is in the second drawer under my favorite spot on the counter. I can grab it in seconds. The two buttons are unit, grams, kilograms, ounces, or pounds. The other button is on or off and tear. The tear button returns the readout to zero so you can weigh items separately. Place your bowl on the scale, hit the tear button to delete the weight of the bowl. All-purpose flour is about 10 to 11 percent protein. We want about 14 percent for bread. Vital wheat gluten is about 75 percent protein. If we add 5 grams per hundred of AP flour, we will raise the AP flour to about 14 percent protein. Scoop 300 grams of AP flour into the bowl. Hit the tear button again to zero the readout. Spoon in the vital wheat gluten till the readout reads 15. Three hundreds, five per hundred, five percent, thus three times five equals 15. 